Welcome back to Armatic Realistic TV, a station where we discuss clarity with substance. And tonight, I will be looking into the education system in Jamaica and ask if the education system in Jamaica was designed to fail the kids and why. For recruitment for both political parties, so they rank the kids and they separate them. The brightest will up front close to the teacher. The next will sit in the mega. And the one that they say don't spot, now come to nothing, always in the back. I'm just asking some questions. Just take in consideration a young man who is a slow learner. So he end up in the back. The teacher knows his ability. That young man cannot read well. And a teacher tell that young man to stand up and read a paragraph from a book. Knowing well that this young man don't have the ability at the time to do so. So he embarrass the young man and humiliate him in front of the class. His morale was already low. And you just land that punch to his gut. Demolish the kid. So he was already in the back. So the next place for him is out through the door. He failed to show the next day. And the following day, and weeks turn into months and years. That young man could not come back to face that class because the little moral that he has was demolished by his teacher. The teacher who's supposed to mold that young man, guide him along, prepare him for the future, without knowing his true potential. Because as I said before, he's a slow learner. And slow learner intend to develop later in life. So he demolished this young man without knowing his true potential. So the gangsters that he passed on the street side every day coming to school, who his mother warned him about, that's where he turned now. Because the first time in his life he's been accepted. The first time in his life, he feel like he was wanted. The first time in his life, he feel like somebody. Someone put a gun in his hand. So what well, this big man? This me I tell you about a long time. He's on top of the world. Same thing with the young lady. A slow learner as well. But the teacher will call her up to work out the sums on the board. Knowing well that she's not capable. And it would be better off for you to put him with two of the bright students. So she can follow and catch on along the way. She again 
her self-esteem was shattered. Now she's absent. And her absence becomes permanent. And the little girl them down the road why mother the one are about. Those are the little girl now. Tell them say, yeah man, you go dance, go, go, way, way, blah, blah. And she go dance, go, go, and she comes a bartender and man start flacking now and way, way. She feel wanted. She feel loved. And then society is going to blame them. Then when what list? They don't want nothing in life. A man they want, a gun they want. They don't have no ambition. No. That's not so. Some of these young people at home, both male and female, they've been abused physically and sexually. And the mother shields it. Because the man is the head of the house and they are the breadwinners. So sometimes you see these kids are coming to school overwhelmed with burden inside. But they can't trust nobody to pour it out with. Because the teacher failed them and home failed them. You see the a picnic you ain't wanting to breed. No, that's not the case. Love. They did not get that at home, so they seek it elsewhere. Not want babies. He did not want a gun. But the system that's there to protect them failed them. They've been failed at home and they've been failed at school. So when you check the ratio, or the separation in school, it's continued throughout their life journey. Because you have the bright, which is the minority at front, and behind them you have the second brightest, and down about you have the dunspot and the gunman, the criminals, minister to society, who do not come to nothing. So we don't need to spend time on them. And the cycle moves on in life. Still in that grading category. First, second, third. First class, middle class, low life. First class, second class, low life. And the first class, these are the kids that come out to be the engineer, the pilot, the doctors, the lawyers. The middle, the teachers, the police, the security, the waiter, the waitress, the clerks, the pharmacists, and then the dunce, but the low life, Mr. Chin supermarket. Go cut people land. Go wash people dirty clothes. Labor work. Mason Kyanta. Those were the work. Those people. But if they were modeling the European tradition, as they says, America, Europe does not grade kids. Not like Jamaica, you have 717273747576. So you have the brightest, the second brightest, the third brightest, go all the way. No, they do they no, they they don't do that. What they do is everybody in one batch. And the teacher or the teacher assistant or the professors will break it down to that student. The teacher, the teacher assistant. The professors 
will break it down to that student until they catch up to par. Then they move on. Reason for that, they don't know who's the next prime minister, who's the next lawyer, who's the next doctor, who's the next teacher, who's the next nurse, who's the next hotel worker, who's the next um, landscaper, who's the next carpenter, who's the next painter. So what they do, they don't leave no one behind. So this is our life progress. The minority with the rich still progress. Politician, lawyer, engineer, name them, move on with those jobs. But it's few. That's like 5%. And the other 10%. Underneath the brightest. Right? The police, the nurse, the teacher, the hotel worker, those people, the 10%. So you look on the 85% down there, so, which is the majority. And those are the people that I'm talking about who get left behind. No one cares. So they come breeding ground for the political arena. Because remember, you know, minority does not win election. It's the majority. And the rich are the minority of the land. And the poor are the majority. So if you see where it's going, and that's why I ask if the education system in Jamaica designed for the youth to fail for political benefit. How can a teacher destroy a kid self-esteem without knowing that kid true potential? Because that kid is a slow learner. Who is going to fix that? Destroy the young lady. She ended up as a bartender, a go-go dancer. Because no one take the time out to find out what this little girl was going through. Because she's not in the elite. She categorized as one of the dunce but one of the no good, one of the low life. So teacher does not have the time of the day to sit down with them and have that conversation. If everything is going good at home. Because her blows may be dirty or maybe similar like because they don't have all the necessity like they the so-called elites. And true, she's a slow learner. Because of her mental problem. She may be abused by her, her stepfather. Her brother. Even her own father. Who knows? But the only stigma society can place on them is that them worthless, a low life them, and we could have tell so they then go come to nothing. They don't want nothing. I just man they want. No, sometimes it's not just man they want. They need love. Their rights been taken away at home. Their sanity been taken away by their stepfather. Taken away by their father. Taken away by their brother. Taken away by their uncle. Taken away by their cousin. And no one sees. But I ask again. Is the education system in Jamaica. Designed 
for the kids to fail. A young man who is a slow learner. And you might call him a dunce batter. You know his ability. And you have him stand up in front of the entire class to read a paragraph. And you know within yourself he's not capable. Know within yourself that his self-esteem is already low. It's like from a bullfrog belly to the ground. How much lower can it get? The young man who you're supposed to prepare for the future. Give him the tool. Help him to learn to read and write. Have the basic understanding. Going forward in life. Because it's not every kid. It's fast learners. Some kids are slow learners. And as they get older, they start to pick up more and more. But when you force them out of the system, how would you know that young man or that young woman ability? How would you know his true potential? And this is the reason why I ask. Is the education system in Jamaica designed for the kids to fail? Much love. Much love. Peace out. Until then. Stay tuned to Aromatic Realistic TV where I bring you substance and clarity. I'm out. Peace.